here are the top 15 best seeds that you must try in Minecraft 1.21. In the first seed, you spawn in a small village with two blacksmiths. But right behind this house, we have a huge exposed cave. This cave looks like the gateway to hell. Inside this cave, we have a ruined portal with some OP loot that is right next to an ancient city. If you manage to not anger the warden, right behind this portal, through this wall, is a trial chamber. A brand new structure in 1.21. Once you finish exploring that cave, if you go behind the village, you can find this huge crater surrounded by snowy mountains, which is perfect to build a base. If you want an even cooler place to build your base, this next seed spawns you in an even larger crater surrounded by snowy mountains and it even has a cherry blossom biome. The mountains even has four villages surrounding them. This village has a pillager outpost right next to it where you can find an ominous bottle. Right under that village is a child chamber, but if one wasn't enough, if you head diagonal from this village, right under it is another child chamber. This third seed seems normal sure at first, that? with a desert temple, but you don't want to set off this trap or else you will fall to your death into this huge lush cave with a ruined portal, and right behind this wall is a trial chamber. Too far from spawn is a badlands, where you can what find the new armadillos and a village next to a mangrove swamp where you can find the bogged. Seed 4 takes luck to the next level. First you spawn on this beach with a village not too far from spawn. Right under this village is a stronghold with a 12 eye portal, allowing you to go to the end easily. Not too far from the village is a savanna with armadillos and a trial chamber at these coordinates. Seed number 5 has some weird structure generation. First you spawn in a birch forest and not too far from spawn is an abandoned village, pillager outpost, and a ruined portal in one. Near the village, there is a child chamber a few blocks away. But in this dark oak biome, next to the village, there is a stretched out woodland mansion in a cave. If you thought that last seed had a weird world generation, well seed 6 spawns you in an oak forest with a village not too far. But if you travel far enough, you will come across a village on a lake on top of an ocean monument with a floating island with a pillager outpost. If you get an ominous bottle, you can dig down below the ocean monument if you manage not to get mining fatigue, where you'll find a child chamber. Seed 7 is even more crazier than the other one. This seed spawns you in a taiga biome, but if you travel to these coordinates, you'll come across a village and some cherry blossoms. But right next to the village is an exposed cave with an exposed child chamber. And right under it is a stronghold that is next to an ancient city with a mine shaft above it. Seed number 8 spawns you next to a snowy taiga. But right next to you, there is a huge lake surrounded by snowy mountains. The mountains even have cracks with exposed lush caves. Not too far from this cave is a child chamber. And if you go a little further, you'll find an ancient city. Seed 9 is perfect for getting all the new wolf variants. You spawn on a mountain right next to an oak forest where you find the woods wolf. Right next to that is a snowy grove where you find the snowy wolf. Not too far is a pine taiga, the black wolf, with a ruined portal. Next to that is an old growth taiga with the chestnut wolf. Next to that is a snowy taiga with the ashen wolf. Then a taiga with the pale wolf. Back near spawn is a jungle with the rusty wolf. Next to a badlands with the striped wolf. Finally a savanna with the spotted wolf. All of these wolf variants are 1000 blocks within spawn. And I can't forget, there's a trial chamber and ancient city combo with 3 enchanted golden apples. Seed 10 is pretty interesting. You spawn in a dark oak forest in front of Queso. Yep, you're banned. There's this insanely tall woodland mansion. It also has a small chunk taken out of it, which is nice to build a base. There's also a, a trial chamber close by. Seed 11 spawns you in a plains. But you, if you travel across the ocean, you will come across a huge snowy mountain or cracks, exposing a beautiful lush cave. Not too far from the mountain is a trial chamber with a dungeon. You can even connect these to make a XP farm. C12 spawns you in an oak forest, but if you do a little traveling, you will find a jungle with a jungle temple, trail ruin, village, villager outpost, ruined portal, and a woodland mansion. 
but that's not it. Under the village is a dungeon above a stronghold with a three-eye portal. That's nine structures close by. And here's a child chamber. C13 is great for speedrunners. You spawn next to a village with three blacksmiths with obsidian. And beneath the village is a stronghold with a two-eye portal. If you make your portal in the stronghold, you will spawn in a bastion next to a fortress. Back in the overworld, there is also a trial chamber next to a mine shaft. Seed 14 is an abomination. You spawn in a plains biome, but if you travel far out, you will find a village on a lake, a woodland mansion that isn't even in a dark oak forest. Next to the village, is a deep ravine with a floating pillager what? outpost and an ocean monument. Under the monument is a stronghold right next to a mine shaft and a trial chamber. Seed 15 is perfect to build your base. You spawn in an oak forest with a starter savanna village. Under the village is a trial chamber. Once you finish looting those, head to these coordinates where you will find a huge crater surrounded by a rocky and snowy mountain. There are even five wood variants all here. This is perfect to build a kingdom. Under the mountain, you will find a mineshaft next to an ancient city with an enchanted golden apple. That's it for today guys. See you guys next time.